Hello, everybody, and welcome to another live music session. These sessions are presented as a community development project by the Four Corners Center and feature local musicians performing on our Facebook and YouTube channels. We acknowledge Canada Heritage for their financial support of this project. Enjoy. Good evening and happy Friday to you. Hope it's not raining as hard where you are as it is here in Van Cleek Hill, but we're happy to bring you another uh, Four Corners live music session for tonight, featuring the music of Tom Foreman and a part of his Tom Foreman and Co. group. Uh, and we'll be tuning in to Tom in just a minute or two. I uh, just want to let you know that uh, this will be the third to last show of our Friday evenings. Uh, we have another show featuring Frankie Rafa coming on July the 2nd and Irina and Tom on July the 20th. Then we'll be taking a short hiatus to enjoy some summertime and put our plan together for the uh, fall season. Uh, we think you'll enjoy what we have uh, under uh, our thinking caps for the fall season. It's going to be a little bit different from what you're, uh, you've been used to, and we think that uh, uh, that uh, it's going to add a, a special blend to the kind of Friday evening entertainment that we've been providing to you. So let's uh, bring um, Tom uh, and his crew in, in the picture. The picture. And there we are. And there we are. Oh, it's good we got so the dog cool, so cool, Tom. So we have an echo, so have and, an a echo and a dog. <laughs> we have a we have a <laughs> and we have, we have Steve, who's over here in the shot right now, who's getting himself set up very quickly. And I just warned him about his drink on the floor. So we're, we're, we're set, you know, we're almost set to go, Ken. All right, then. All right, then. So, so perhaps, some, perhaps uh, some, uh, do, I'm going to mute my mic because for the echo, but maybe but you could maybe tell, you could those, people tell those people who never tuned, never tuned in to a Tom, Tom Foreman show what you're all about, <laughs> what you're all about and <laughs> where your music where comes, music from, comes from, and from and all the rest of, all the rest of it. it. Sure thing. Okay, folks, well, thanks for joining us here tonight, and thanks, Ken, for having us, and Four Corners for having us. It's been a while um, since we've done this, actually. It's probably been the better part of a year, and good old COVID's kind of throwing a little twist into stuff. Um, but before we get going, I'll introduce you to Foreman & Co. Uh, Foreman & Co. is a band actually that uh, Steve and a few other people and I put together, oh, probably about five, six years ago now. And um, you know, we've moved through different versions and different incarnations. So tonight you're getting our, uh, our acoustic version. So right in the uh, two, I guess would be, I gotta get my left and right to the, your right? I don't know, right there, right? I don't know, I, right, laugh, port, starboard, I don't know. This is Brooke. Brooke joined us last year. She handles uh, pretty much anything that gets thrown at her, primarily pianos and keyboards and uh, B3 organs and accordions and acoustic guitars and all the backup vocals. And uh, we're going to make her drive the tour bus and maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, she's going to be like the band banker and she's going to fleece us all when we get all rich and famous, right, Brooke? Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> Actually, Brooke came all the way from far, far away in Drummondville tonight to be here. Now that COVID is beginning to loosen up, we can finally uh, get ourselves back together. And this uh, stunning, stunning, handsome young fellow over here with those glasses, this is Steve. Uh, Steve. Hello. <laughs> yes. uh, Steve, you should probably tune Brooke. We should actually point out that normally we do this electric. Uh, but this acoustic business means that Brooke can use my upright grand piano that when my wife and I built the house in the studio we got. So this is a beast from, oh, the late 1800s actually, and it, uh, it hasn't been tuned in a few years, so we're all kind of tuning down to it. So if you hear a little tuning, clanking noise in the background, that's uh, these two getting together. You guys all good sound-wise? I'm good. Okay, roll. That's that. That's as good as it gets. I don't know if I'm in tune to Brooke, but I'm in tune to my chromatic tuner. <laughs> Steve's in tune to his chromatic tuner, which means it might be yeah. slightly out, but we'll fix it as we go. So. As I said, you know, a hundred plus year old piano's got its own thoughts. So Foreman and Co., uh, we have actually just, over the course of the pandemic, wrapped up what amounts to our fourth release, the first full-length album, and uh, we're going to play you a couple of songs from that tonight. 
We're going to start off with some older stuff and some reworked material. So, the title song off our last release called Fox in the Hole.
then the last note you hear is a bum one. <laughs> All right, we're plowing through some old songs here. Uh, that's the problem when you get a captive audience, or you, you know, you have a songwriter who gets a camera on them, going to tell you all about the tunes. And I've probably told people about this story a number of times, but our first record had a song called "Next Year People," and it was a story that was in my head about Dust Bowl 1930s, desperate times, and a snake oil salesman shows up in town and sells people magical cures for everything. But he's actually the devil. This is "Next Year People."
guitar change time. Beer sipping time. <laughs> <laughs> ah! My workspace is a little small. Ah! So at this point, I gotta call in our uh, our uh, guest star, tin whistle player, backup singer, Emma. <laughs> It always makes for great TV when you do that. <laughs> ah! Ah! So ladies and gentlemen, this is Emma Foreman. She's, uh, she's our backup singers tonight. You know, it's not like the Phoenix Horns or the Black Bettys. This is the single Emmas. <laughs> True on so many levels. <laughs> Uh, okay, this song called Glory Ann. Uh, this, um, this is this song of, uh, what would you call it? Unrequited, unrequited love? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it used to be kind of upbeat, but we've, uh, we've, we've played with it a bit, so here we go.
the glory and not there for me. Some day she'll stop. Some day she'll see. Maybe even someday she'll never notice me. I couldn't wait another day. Things I have to say I couldn't see another way To tell you Because uh, it's uh, it's it's getting warm in here, isn't it? Are you leaving, Emma? I'm trying not to break the. Oh, the single Emma backup singers is leaving. It's getting hot in here. It's getting getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Take off all your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a great song lyric, you don't want to see that. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is getting hot in here. My old guitar. Okay, I don't like this capo. Capos! You're right, Steve, after all these years, they're not my friend. We played gigs for years, Steve and I, and uh, I always capo songs, and then I forget to capo them. The capo, for those of you non-musicians, changes the, the string length and thereby the pitch. And uh, so you can play all sorts of songs in different keys, cheating using the same chord structures, but uh, yeah, I'd forget to tell Steve what we were doing, or I'd forget to use the capo, and and then, uh, yeah, that didn't go so good. We're much more professional now that we've got older, though, right? That's right? true. Brooke, are you more professional on that now that you're older? Of course. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's good. I just tried to put a capo on, uh, picking my strings. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so we have, as I said earlier, we've been in, working in the studio uh, on and off, non-stop through the pandemic. On and off, non-stop, does that even make sense? And here's one of the new songs. This is called The Sun Still Rises. It's nice having other people going through breakups around you because then you can write songs about it steal it. That's what songwriters are. Never trust a songwriter. They're just stealing all your stuff. One, two, three, four, one. Stop. 
Contacts me about what a month ago? A month ago. A month ago. And he's like, we should do rock and roll song. I'm like, yeah, that's an awesome song. I can't find it. He has rock and roll song by Baldy. Like I thought it was Gordon Lightfoot, which would explain why I bought and downloaded every Gordon Lightfoot album and subsequently couldn't find the song. So because it was Paul Baldy. Who knew? Yeah. Rock and roll song. Through to a chorus 
a fool. Some track star said, thank God he's leaving. Now someone played me a rock and roll song. Had it to hear with your flowers and beans. Played me a rock and roll song. Cause my head isn't there So I'll leave you to your rock and roll songs And make my way back to the country Still I hear play me a rock and roll song I don't care for music, I don't want to hear you Play me a rock and roll song I should have stayed home with a big case of beer Play me a rock and roll song I'd say, we're going to do this song, and Steve would be like, oh, because we played it once like three years ago. <laughs> but you did great, man. You did great. All right, I got to change guitars again. It is a good song, though. Okay. It is a good song, and the fact that it took me forever to, to find it, and then you knew where it was. It blew your mind. It blew my mind. Too. My mind is an easily damaged thing these days. I get to play my dobro, the guitar that goes away from me and comes back and always goes out of tune. My phone just went off in my pocket. Ah, I'm going to put that over there. Here's a song about the Rouge River, which from where I'm sitting is right over there. This is called The River Takes Another. Red and queen, pretty like you've never seen. A hundred miles down from the north head waters and places that I've never been. Granddaddy tell tales of how they nailed cork boots to the pines. Log drivers walk with a man for a second. You fall in and end up dying. You fall in and end up dying. You fall in and end up dying. Two, three, four. Hunger, 
river's got a hold of the river that takes another anytime that she please. sideways glance. I don't know how you can manage to look at your piano with the amount of... Ah. It's been a long pandemic. Well now, Slipping away. we're playing a lot of downer songs here. I'm just looking at this. Oh well, <laughs> hope you're all in the downer mood because it's downer songs. Uh, so we wrote this song about Towns that we know well in the area, you might recognize them. It's not a slight, it's, it's a battle cry. I realized that after we wrote the song. The song comes across as maybe sounding a little bit on the um, uh, put down side, but really this is a song for uh, all, the, all the working class towns in Canada, in North America, maybe even in the world, that have uh, fallen on hard times, single industry towns that all the money moves away. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, that's okay. So, in the meantime, Brooke knows about this because she's from Drummondville, and that town went through some tough times. <laughs> and then Brooke moved to it, and it all got better. It's all magic. It's all fixed. Chris, if you're watching this, you guys fixed Drummondville. It's all good. There you go. Oh man, I'm sorry, my brain is not firing on all cylinders. Me neither. I can't tell the difference between a sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Foreman and Co. blowing the rust off after 15 months. <laughs> Ken must be real happy he's got us on this show tonight. <laughs> River not far from my home. Factories closed down and left the people alone. Main Street stores are all shuttered and long. Money moved out, all the council just talked. Safety glass too. They moved the mills to China. Now there's nothing left for you. The churches stand empty. There's no money for the pool. The bars are still loaded now, cause there's nothing else to do. And there's a bad feeling running through the
basement growing weed out in the yard. The doors are all locked and the windows all barred. The kids are going hungry and older brothers are in gas. Something's going wrong in our home in native land. And there's a bad thing. Sometimes they disappear into that drawer, and they're never heard from again. Um, this was one of those songs until Foreman & Co., this band, came along. And uh, kind of really brought it to life. So I wrote this in February of 1996, when my lovely future wife moved out to British Columbia, and I was still finishing up working in Montreal. And uh, she left on President's Day. What was that, January 16th? I think it's January 16th. Sure. <laughs> I should know these things. This is President's Day. Two, three, four. Thank you. 
you. Because <laughs> my brain went to Cleveland for a moment. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to our last song of the evening. Uh, and it is another brand new song coming up on the new record. And it takes us full circle back to the Rouge River. It was, uh, I, I promised myself I wasn't going to write any COVID songs, and I didn't. I just wrote a whole bunch of songs during COVID. This is our, uh, this is our, our happy, snappy gospel number. Oh, wait, we need the backup singers. Emma? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, bring your multiple personalities in here. Horrible. <laughs> uh, and she doesn't even get paid. <laughs> Two, three, four. Down to the river. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Good day. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Two, three, four. Down to the river. I forgot my cable. <laughs> oh, it's been a really long week. <laughs> Nothing like ending this on a sour note. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be no, it's gonna be awesome. You got you gotta weep. People are weeping right now. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. Alright, two, three, four. Down to the river.
very much. I would love counting myself in at the end. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Foreman and Co., thank you very much. Thanks, Ken. Hey everyone, we should do like an Anchorman, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're a smelly pirate. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who uh, tuned in to uh, to see us uh, tonight and uh, see the Foreman gang um, uh, perform. Uh, we're really glad to see now that Brooke is turning towards the camera because someone actually commented that we only got to see Brooke's back. So uh, <laughs> that's that's quite good. And so, um, uh, as I was saying, uh, we uh, uh, we never know what we're going to get with you folks, but we do know that uh, we're going to have a good time. So. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for everyone tuning in. Thank you very much for Foreman and Company, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you again. Again. Great. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, all. Good night, all. Good night. Well done.